What, do you want me to intro it? It's your channel. Okay, I guess it is my channel. Uh, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and this is Lizzie Pierce, if Hello. you guys don't know her. We would both consider ourselves filmmakers, content creators, and we watch a lot of Netflix. And a couple nights ago we were watching Netflix and I was like, we should share our favorite Netflix shows. Yes. So that's what this video is. It's about content creators perspective on Netflix. Lizzie, I feel like you're a pro Netflixer. I am. Somehow I managed to get through so much content in such a small amount of time. Actually, I think I watched an entire series yesterday. So here are our favorite suggestions for Netflix. Number one, we like binged it ASAP. What's this was one? Quicksand. Ooh. This was, was awesome. Good. So to give you some context on Quicksand, Quicksand is a Swedish film. It is a thriller drama. It's like what, six episodes or something like that? It's only a few episodes. It wasn't long enough. It was exactly. It wasn't long enough. Do you want to give a bit of like a synopsis on it so, without giving too much away? I'll do my best. Yeah. So it opens with this teenage girl. She's in high school and she's going to jail. Basically, you know that something's happened. The police come into a shooting that's happened at the school and she's there and they, they take her to prison and she's shaking and scared. And essentially they're accusing her of committing this murder and murdering several of the kids from her school. So you yep. don't know whether she's done it or not. And the entire series, they really don't give a lot away. So you're, you're trying to figure out along with her whether she actually did this or not. I loved the story of this. I was totally pulled in, even though it was in a different language. And the funny thing is for me, even though, you know, it, visuals are very important to us, that for me is like a bonus. It's the cherry on top and it is shot really well. So yeah. that just sealed the deal. We finished it within a few days. But yeah. yeah, story and acting were on point. So highly recommend Quicksand. Go check it out if you have not already. Our second suggestion is a recent one that we yeah. just started like a few days ago. It is called Street Food. Street Sh Food. Street Food. Sh street Food. Street Food. Street. You should check out Street Food. So I saw this come up as a new Netflix series and I pretty much much trust if it's a Netflix original like 80% of the time yep. either that category or the trending category you will always find some gems in there so, so little pro tips that's from pretty a Netflixer much where I gravitate pro towards Netflixer. what caught me about street food was yeah that it was a Netflix original but also the image that they were showing that I want to say thumbnail but is that accurate for Netflix thumbnail yeah the, the Netflix the thumbnail. Netflix thumbnail the the cover the, the cover photo the was poster. really really good and then I opened it up to see the episodes and and it was from all these different places in the world, like Bangkok and Japan. Yep. If you've ever had street food, like a lot of these places and little stands that they've set up look very forgettable to the untrained eye, unless yep. you're a local. And what a lot of people don't know and what the show kind of gets into is the background and the story behind each of these street vendors yep. and the history of street food with that particular culture. But like, keep a snack nearby because you'll want to eat. Yeah, it's amazing how they were able to pull such an emotional story out of these people. Again, the cinematography or videography in this sense uh, was very unique, a lot of shallow depth of field. It looks really good. I love it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And yes. We still have to finish it. And fair warning, it does make you hungry. Yes. Our next recommendation is a comedy. It's actually based out of Canada. That is Working Moms. What do you love about Working Moms? Everything. It's me <laughs> from the future coming to me now in a TV show, in a yeah. Netflix show. <laughs> I find like the, the bingeability, we'll make up some words here. This was a bingeable show. Like we started the first episode, instantly hooked, cinematography amazing, storyline, the characters in this one were absolutely incredible, very yeah. relatable. It's really funny. It's just some good classic humor yeah. and it's definitely current. It's not just for a mom audience. Yeah. It really is for everyone. Like the jokes transcend gender and yeah. age and it, like, race. Hovers on like raunchy, but like never goes too far. So it's like it's yeah. still accessible, what's, but it's very funny. What's really nice about it is first of all, it's a Canadian show, yep. which is freaking awesome because most Canadian TV, I'm not gonna lie, is not this no, good. Second of all, they did such a good job of representing a diverse, you know, female culture. I really liked that part of it too. It's just straight up funny. All those other like sub context it's parts, so funny. it's straight up a great laugh. 10 out of 10 would recommend. What is one of your favorite shows that I personally didn't really watch a lot of because it's not my type, Ooh. but you want to go just, I know I, I'll give going. you the spotlight right now. Okay. Ah. For anyone else there who loves horror just as much as I do, it is The Haunting of Hill House. And not only is it scary, it has an amazing backstory and mystery to it. Uh, the acting is incredible. The art direction is yeah. insane. Yeah. The budget they must have needed is... 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. It's that good, guys. It's so good, I die. <laughs> it's so good. And I love it to death just because like, I love horror movies so much. And yeah. especially ones that aren't just gory, they really have a story along with them. And that are shot well, it's so hard to find ones that are shot well and the special effects are really good. I love watch it. She loves it. So I wanted to give her the spotlight on that one. One of our next favorites, uh, funny enough, a friend of ours, Johnny Harris, produced a few episodes. That is explained, very digestible pieces of content, very fun, 10 to 15 minutes, great right before bed if you don't wanna like fully invest in a really long show, like a 40 minute show or like a movie. If you want something short and sweet, explained, love it. First of all, Box knows how to make a really interesting and informative video and they're all quite short. Really short little nuggets of information that you didn't know before and it's presented in such a clear way and they have all these interviews that are beautifully shot and the graphics are super fun and engaging and they get voiceovers done to carry out yeah. the stories from- Highless um, celebrities. Celebrities and you know people that you know and I don't know why it's like nice to hear their voices narrating it for some yeah. reason. The coolest part about this is that Netflix released it sequentially so they didn't like release them all at once. It'd be like every week would be a new one. So it was fun to yeah. like come back to that traditional format in television. So I really liked the distribution of it the quality of the content as well as the stories that they were talking about. If you want to feel like a smarter person in a very short amount of time, watch Explained. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And our last recommendation, uh, this is something we just kind of stumbled across. It is a Norwegian film and it is called The Wave. It is a classic, like the world is ending type of vibe where a massive wave is to destroy a town. It's all in Norwegian. I loved it. Absolutely hooked. Usually yeah. those films are like a little cheesy. They did an amazing job, especially for a European production. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit day after tomorrow-y, but within this small town. The, the rock is like falling in one oh, of like the is, mountains is falling Yeah, into something's the happening due to global warming or something and it's never happened before and then this giant wave comes and it's gonna flood this whole town and they all have to escape but no one really believes it and they're not actually warning the people and it's gonna get really bad and then they're all gonna die. Um, it's really good. Really so anyways, those are our recommendations on Netflix right now. You guys liked this. We can do more of this in the future. I, I feel like we are big Netflix fans. I'm just, I assume most of you out there are also Netflix fans. We could just do this monthly. Yeah, just maybe we'll do like a you monthly. On our monthly binges. Yes, we'll try to find some secret gems for you that maybe you haven't checked out. And on that note. If you guys like this video and you want to see more of these, please press like, subscribe for future recommendations, and hit the bell to be notified for those future videos. And you'll catch Lizzie and I and maybe some other filmmakers in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye. 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 What are you doing? I'm are like you? in a disco. Ns, 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 ns,